How's it going everyone? Virtually Chris here. In today's video, we're going to be showing how to install OpenPilot on the Eon Gold dev kit. So getting into the box, you will find the Eon Gold itself, which looks very nice. I love the heatsink design. It has better thermals than the original Eon, but basically is the same in every other way. Also in the box are everything you need to mount it to your car, as well as the cables you need to plug in to your Panda. This is all stuff I'll talk more about in the installation videos. All right, so booting up the Eon Gold, you'll see that it's loading Schiffer Plus. This is the software that comes with it, which is basically a glorified dash cam that has things such as forward collision warning. So to install OpenPilot, we're going to first click set up your Eon. And from there, we're going to read the terms and conditions and agree to them. Then you can choose to select a Wi-Fi or you can skip this at this point in time and continue. And also you could add a SIM now or do that later. Now you're going to want to navigate to the settings pane and scroll down until you see uninstall. This is going to uninstall the dashcam software and allow you to install OpenPilot, which is the software that can control your car. So once you press uninstall, you're going to want to press uninstall again, and you'll notice that a factory reset is occurring. So just wait a few seconds for the Eon to reboot. At this point, you can also insert the SIM card, or you can skip that if you don't want to have a SIM. Next, you're going to want to set up your Wi-Fi network to install OpenPilot, and then type in the URL for OpenPilot, which is openpilot.comma.ai. Press done and done once again. Now your Eon is gonna be installing OpenPilot and this will take quite a bit of time. So just leave it running for a while until it gets to the OpenPilot screen. This can sometimes be anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. Now that you're in OpenPilot, you can set up your Eon once again. This includes accepting those terms and conditions again and making sure you're on the right Wi-Fi network and then adding a SIM if you'd like. And now it says, welcome to OpenPilot Alpha. This is where there's a little training guide on making sure you will use the system properly. So just follow this on your own Eon to get a better understanding of how OpenPilot works. Now you can log into your Google account. This is the account that you'll use for all your comma services. So you can look at Cabana or you can look at my.comma.ai to see your drives, to see what OpenPilot was doing during all those drives, and also to annotate your drives if there's any mistakes made for future versions of OpenPilot. If the keyboard's cut off for any reason, just restart your Eon and that problem will go away. All right, Schiffer would like to know your basic profile info, allow, and boom, just like that, you have a My Drives tab and now your Eon Gold is ready to use OpenPilot. So now depending on your car, you can look at the Honda installation guide or if you have a Toyota, look at the Toyota installation guide. If you have any other cars, there's definitely tutorials out there to help you get OpenPilot up and running. See you all in the next OpenPilot video. Bye.